uh, question. I am in a first generation church that tries to be bilingual and place second generation and 1.5 generations all together. We wanted to grow our 1.5 and second generation congregation, but we always want to nurture the needs of the older generation. What would your advice be? Wow, that, that is the big question that uh, many, many ethnic Asian churches ask. Many Asian churches want, uh, the majority of Asian churches want their multiple generations to be together. The first generation, the 1.5 generation, the second generation, and that is very much a uh, foundation, a deeply rooted value for uh, Asian cultures. And so uh, when churches begin to grow and diversify and the uh, younger generation have a bicultural experience because they're going to dominant culture, non-Asian contexts for school and for work, it brings a, uh, a difficult uh, thing to navigate in the church. So um, it really comes uh, to, to simply answer this uh, it comes to the leadership decision of the whole to discern what is the best way to navigate those multiple cultures. Would, um, what's been helpful in this book, I think, is to learn from all the different kinds of models for how Asian American churches have navigated those different generations. There's at least eight different models for how to do that. And one of the things that I did in this book is also to say when church leaders need to discern uh, the right time and the right process for changing from one model to the next. Because it sounds like from this question that uh, right now the model is not working well for getting all these generations together. So what does together look like? Uh, redefining that or making some adjustments with that. And then secondly, what model would best serve the congregation today and into the future? So those would be the two key questions that the leaders must have a honest and candid discussion and discernment around. Difficult in an Asian cultural context, but necessary in a gospel context.